So in this experiment, or this very short demonstration, what we're going to look at is evidence of cellular respiration. Okay? So what we have here is a set of uh, chickpeas that have been left overnight in just some water. And so periodically they were agitated, so oxygen is added to the solution. But then it's been sealed off so that any kind of product of the respiration will be trapped inside here. Okay, and so one of the products or byproducts of respiration is going to be CO2, carbon dioxide. Okay? Now, what happens is that what we have right now, at least in theory, we have lots of carbon dioxide in here, and what we have is a hose that we can use to release that carbon dioxide. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to test for the presence of carbon dioxide using a pH indicator. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put some water into this beaker over here. So I'm just going to pour some water. How much really doesn't matter too much. It's probably a good amount. Okay. And we're going to add some of this indicator. So bromothymol blue is a pH indicator. It starts out blue at neutral pH. But as you make the solution more acidic, it will change color. Okay, so it will change color to, to green or yellow depending on what the pH is. So, why would we expect that pH to change here? Well, when I release this clamp, what we should see is that there's going to be some gas going from here into the water. It will bubble through the water. And if there's a lot of CO2 in there, if there's a lot of CO2 in there, what will happen is that CO2 will dissolve in the water and make carbonic acid. Okay, so H2O plus CO2 will make carbonic acid, which will acidify the solution and change the pH. Okay, so let's take a look if this actually happens. So let's release the clamp. Okay, we've got lots of so we've got some bubbles going through. Okay, not much gas pressure in here, so that's not good. So there wasn't much gas dissolved, or there wasn't much gas in the air, but there's going to be some gas dissolved in this water. So to move things along and not have to wait for many hours for the CO2 to build up, I'm just going to pour a bit of this water from inside into our indicator solution. And so we can see here and then the beaker is in fact turning green because the solution inside here is acidic. Okay. 